Hello and welcome to the next building endeavour video. So in this episode I'm going to finalise the lower part of the hall by filling in these uh, sections here. I have to get a strip of uh, separately wood, offer it up to each of these uh, spaces and then cut them to size in the cutting board. So let's get to that. Okay so I'm going to start with this one first and I'm just going to offer it up to this space here and I need to mark out where uh, the tip, if you like, of where the wood's going to be. So I'm going to mark that off somewhere around about here. Okay. So I'll connect that up to there using the steel rule. Okay so here we go with the first cut. Let's see how we go. Noticing straight away that the piece of wood wants to come away from where I'm cutting, so let's be very careful. Yep. Yeah, it feels better now. Once the uh, blade is made, it's cut. It's, it's a little bit easier. I'll just keep going along. I can always sand this down anyway later on. So I'm going to do this with all the rest of these. Uh, fillets like this, uh, being carefully to careful to fit each one individually. Let's see what we're doing. Was it successful? Well, let's see. Bring this into shot. So this is the one I was aiming for. Let's see if that's. Yeah, pretty good, just a little bit of uh, sanding and tailoring and that will be my first one. So let's get on with those now. So I've found in previous model building that I've used these uh, emery boards for fine people's nails with. They seem to make a very good uh, method of just taking down these edges here in a nice gentle way. So I'll just do that and then offer it up, trying it, see if it gets in there and then eventually getting a nice clean and neat. Fit. So what I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to put just one coat of contact adhesive and place it in position, lift it off, let it uh, go tacky and then put it back on and push it into place. So we'll try that now. So, obviously the thinner, the thinner the better. Uh, oh, this glue is starting to go a bit. Spread it as best I can. I found that as I've done this, um, there is a lot of glue residue that's appeared that I have to, oh, I'm making a mess uh, that has to be sanded off as well. So, yeah, maybe I've just missed my finger on it. Yes, that's a bit better. Okay, pop it in position. seems to have worked fine. Right, I'll just push that down in place and um, I'll get on to the next ones in a similar sort of way. One thing I have noticed that after cutting one end, like here, it uh, quite often will almost fit the next uh, um, available space I'll have. So anyway, onwards and I'll put that in the timeline.
Okay, so that's it for the uh, lower half of the hull. Um, it just remains for me now to just sand it up a little bit more um, and make sure that all these edges are lined so that when we put the uh, keel section on it all marries up nicely. So as you can see it's been quite a lot of work but eventually I've managed to get all these planks in place, cutting them, fitting them and uh, I'm very happy with the results so far. Uh, I will continue now on to finish the next um, part of this build where I'm going to just make sure that these extra fillets here on the top and along here are all filled in. And then there's a blue section of um, these planks that has to be put in at the very top and I'll do that on the next video. So if you like what you've seen please remember to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.